hello everyone welcome to technology begins in this video we will see the coder byte challenge question is sql user login let's see the problem definition and try to solve this so what problem definition is saying that we have one table is given with id and one specific date so we have to write a query which give us the output like this from that table we don't have to consider the first month because that first month has no previous month and we cannot get any change from to next month okay so this is basically our problem definition is uh, trying to say and we have to uh, write a query so that we can get the output like this so here is the first step of query and in this query i have taken the uh, how many records we can get in particular month so if there is a january month and there are four records available then this will give us the one column as a month name and one column as the total count okay so this is the month name function which give us the name of the month if num month is one then it will give us the january as a output and this count function will give us the how many records are available in that particular month so for that we have written the simple query select i have select the uh, date joint column and counted the how many records are available in that and taken the alias according to it from the table and also i have taken the alias of this table and after that i have put the group by on the date joint column with the month name function so we can combine that output because there is a multiple records are available in that particular month because there is if there is a month is january then there is a four records are available so you have to group by that with month name so that particular month will have this four records or february will have the three records like that and after that there is a order by so we need to put this in particular order right so we have this put it in the particular order like january february march using the dead joint so this will give you the in ascending order one two three four like that so here is the output so you will get the uh, better idea about that so from that query you will get this output so basically our purpose is to understand how we can solve this question and how we can think on this and how we can write the particular uh, query for that so currently we have get the total count of uh, each and every month right so now we have to count the previous month so basically what we have to do is we have to uh, uh, show the change from one month to the next okay like that if we have in a january there is a four records in in february there is a three record so what is the change of that that is minus one so you have to show that so for that uh, you have to understand how we can get the total count and how we can get the previous month count okay and then after you can subtract them and your output will be there so let's see this is the second step of the query and here we will get the previous month count with the total count so for that i have written the inner query other than that there is nothing in that change so i have written this inner query so in that inner query i have select the uh, date join column from the same table and put at the count function on the selected column so i can get the count of that particular uh, month okay and i have put it also the where condition why that where condition because we have to get the previous month count so and how we can get that so we have to put like this month of our date column equal to month column of date column minus one but this date joint column is coming from ul1 so why this alias ha i have taken because we have to uh, check that we have to uh, get the previous month from the our main query okay so this is our main query inside of that we have inner query so this is how we can you can take the alias and compare them okay so for that you uh, must need basic sql knowledge for this 
okay and i uh, hope you have uh, a better understanding of this of writing the inner query and taking the alias so you have to do like this so we have taken the uh, date joined from main query and we have taken the date joined column which is in the inner query and from the main query we have to uh, do the minus one so we have we will get the previous month count okay only the previous month count so let's see what will be the output of this so as you can see here is the output and also this inner query i have put it in alias so this alias will showing in the column name so this is the month and this is the total count and this is the previous month count so as january there is a no previous month so it is showing the zero in the february there is a previous month is january so we are showing the four so basically this query is do working like this okay so because of this where condition we are getting the previous month okay and based on that we have get the count using count function so now what we have to do we just need to subtract this and as uh, our definition is saying that we don't need to uh, add this january month because uh, this january month have no preceding month right it has no previous month so what we have to do we have to put just minus here okay our query is same here we have taken the alias of total count for this as you can see in the previous query we have taken the as total for the alias but now you have to subtract this total uh, this total date joint subtraction and you have to put this query so this will give you the subtraction of total minus previous month counts okay i hope you are understanding this and if you are putting this minus then this will give you the subtraction of this two thing these two counts okay so you basically we need to do the subtraction of these two columns so we have we are doing the uh, subtraction like only putting the subtractions uh, between this uh, two selection with inner query and this total uh, date joint count okay so this will give you the proper uh, output but for that you have to must write the condition that you don't need to include the january month to get the desired output according to your challenge uh, for that we have taken the month ul1 dot date join this month function will give you the count of that particular month like january is one so that will give you the one if there is a february then that will give you the february according to the date okay so i hope you have understood the concept of month name and month and if you will uh, run that query then you will get this output okay so this will for that you for query we have also changed the name month to month change as given in our problem definition okay so this is our output and this is showing the subtraction of total count and previous month count so basically this is uh, changing from one month to next month okay so i hope you have understood the concept of this challenge and how we can solve this step by step okay so the, this is the problem definition and you can see that we got the uh, output according to our requirement thank you see you and if you like my uh, video then please like us and if you do not subscribe my channel yet then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for next updates Thank you.